Welcome to my channel, Ken here. I recently sent out an email answering four questions in regards to technology. And um, I asked people to write me back, and some people did, and commented on this. So I'll sum this up into one video here. Um, the first question was, with readily available technology, are we creating the best sound? And the answer to that is, yes and no because it depends on your skill sets and how much you know no matter what because of technology there's always more to learn and our jobs have expanded into more fields than you used to be and where you were much more of a specialist so are we creating the best sound well that depends on who you are and how much you know and what kind of technology you're using etc cetera, etc cetera. The second question was, are we expected to do more and faster? And the answer to that is a resounding yes, because the expectations have been raised and we are now being hired as music producers instead of composers, in addition to composers, I should say. Um, that's just adding to our responsibility. And more often than not, we are required to deliver finished products, music. Um, the rare occasion where you have to record live music, let's say an orchestra or a band, um, is becoming less often and it's more often that we just have to send over finished files. Um, whether you record people yourself or you have the budget to do it. The third question I was asked is, with technology at our fingertips, would you say it's much easier to reach new projects and fans? My answer to that was that third-party promotion is always more effective, efficient, and powerful than self-promotion, number one. But with this direct stream or direct contact with your fans and your audience, you have more possibilities of doing it yourself but also the more people are doing it, so the competition gets fiercer in those kind of instances. So yes and no again. Um, the last question I was asked is, what's the impact of technology socially, financially, and emotionally? And this is kind of a composite question I put together from various sources. So the answer to that is um, the more time alone in the studio means less time interacting with other people, especially person to person. Um, as composers, we're required to be efficient and have your own studio, meaning there's your producer connection again, uh, and that costs money, time, and effort to master and to control. Of course, you know, as time goes on, um, in the past 10, 15 years, the perception in, in parts of our industry, I would say mostly in maybe film and TV, um, there's this perception that since we're dealing with audio, we must be able to do all things audio. But I am going to claim that sound design, music, dialogue, acting, and all those kind of things that require audio, and is based on audio, is not the same thing, although there are overlaps. There are many pitfalls in technology. And one of the big ones, I think, is what I call the black hole. The black hole is where all your time, effort, and energy goes into a black hole, and basically you come out at the other end and you feel you have accomplished nothing. And I'm talking about computer problems, for example, or things that maybe that's really difficult to research to find the problem, like corruption or, well, dead hard drives, so please back up a lot. Um, things like that, though, those are black holes that will just eat away your time. And, you know, the, the learning curve for all this technology is time consuming. And if, let's say, you, you're, it's Sunday morning, you have a deadline on Monday morning, and you're dealing with a black hole, you can't get your job done, your computer is dead, or, or you have wires that, that all messed up, um, or something, 
and you're not sure what the problem is. It's very stressful and stress is the anti-creative mechanism, I think. Um, and there's nobody to call what you're going to do. Um, the only thing you can do is fix it yourself because the person that's supposed to help you, which costs money, doesn't come until Monday and then your deadline is passed. So what are you going to do? Um, that's why I call them black holes. Um, the other thing is, as, as far as technology is concerned, um, a lot of people I know rely on technology for music theory, let's say, you know, chord track or something like that. And I think it's important that you have a firm handle on the circle of fifth, just say at the least, it's the most basic thing, um, but just harmony in general, because if you have that in your brain at all times, it'll speed things up tremendously. Um, not only will it speed things up, but you rely less on technology to get those kind of basic things. And it's a very creative thing to begin with done. Um, you know, pen and paper is a, is a good thing. And, and I've found over, over the past 15 years, even though I spent a lot of time with technology, is sometimes pen and paper is actually faster. Uh, and I'm all about speed um, when it comes to these kind of things. So whatever gets the idea down the fastest is really the way you should go, whether it's with technology, recording it, um, writing it down, it doesn't matter as long as you get your idea down. Of course, when you have to deliver, you, you need to deal with technology for sure because you need to have a completed project. With those things in mind, I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Until next time, share, subscribe and like and I'll make more videos.